Okay, we have one final tournament to go through. It is the tournament that's happening in Dubai. It is the return of Djokovic. The return of Nole. It's a big, big event. And uh, we have some names that are not playing in this one. A couple of uh, couple of names that are not playing. Let's go to the withdrawal list. Borna Chorich, he's pulled out. And also Gael Monfils has pulled out of this one. So a couple of, uh, of well-known names pulling out of this one. But, uh, let's go to the top of the draw. And there he is. There he is, the world number one for this week. We don't know if that's going to change, but he is at the number one in the world right now, and he is Novak Djokovic. The first match back, he's taking on Musetti in the first round. That is tough. That is tough. Winner of that match takes on either Hashinov or Diminor in the second round. Uh, then we've got Vesely taking on Cilic. Winner of that match takes on either Rindernik or the number eight seed, Batista Agu, in the second round. So uh, this is not an easy draw for Nole. I think he can win a few matches, but I don't think he's going to uh, demolish everybody. But then again, it's Novak, and he's coming back hungry. So maybe he can. Second part of the draw, we've got the number three seed, Oja Eliasim, taking on Basilashvili. Two guys who last week made finals of events. A uh, winner of that match takes on either Struff or Barenkis in the second round. Then we've got Goffin taking on Daniel. Winner of that match takes on either Fucevic or the number six seed, Shapo, in the second round. Now, Shapo... Hasn't been great since the Australian Open, but I feel like this is an event that he could really thrive. Uh, if he can get through his first round, I think Chapeau could make a quarterfinal and, you know, maybe take on FAA. I, I, I think this is a good opportunity for Chapeau. Can he take it, though? That's always the question, right? Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Hercash, number 5C, taking on Bublik. Winner of that match takes on either Van der Zanschulp or Harris in the second round. Then we've got Andy Murray taking on the qualifier O'Connell. Winner of that match takes on either Fakina, the number four sinner in the second round. I'm interested to see how this draw plays out because Murray has a tough draw because he's going to play maybe sinner in the second round. But her catch is not in good form. Harris made the final here last year. So maybe he's one to watch. Bublik won a tournament two weeks ago. Maybe he's one to watch. Sinner just had a coaching change. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, we'll see how he can adjust. Murray's won this tournament before, so maybe Murray. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got the number seven seed, Karatsev, taking on McDonald. Winner of that match takes on either Krajanovic or Zeri in the second round. Then we've got Avashka taking on Kwan. Winner of that match takes on either Dan Evans or the number two seed, Rublev, in the second round. Now, Andre Rublev, we know, is in form. He uh, won a tournament yesterday in Marseille, so he's going to have to fly over to Dubai. Uh, Karatsev is the defending champion, so we'll keep an eye on him this week uh, as the number seven seed. It's not a terrible draw from Ru for Rublev. Is he going to be feeling okay, though, after you know playing a lot of tennis last week? Is he going to be able to be able to play... Um, you know, for another another week and another tough tough week of tennis too. It's not going to be going to be easy for him. We'll see. I think the I think the bottom half of the draw is where the winner comes from. Um, if not Djokovic, I would love to see Nole come back with a vengeance and win. That would be epic. But Rublev's in good form. I, I think he might be the one down the bottom half of the draw that makes the final. Maybe Karatsev gets in form. Um, Shapo, I I want to I want to believe in Shapo. <laughs> I want to believe in Chapeau that Chapeau could make things interesting, but I don't know. Based on recent form, he's really hurting me. But RBA, can he continue the form? FAA, can he continue his form? Or is there someone else in the draw? Uh, look, I mean, the easy pick's Djokovic, right? I want to see Murray go deep in the tournament. Yeah, look, Murray's got a decent draw if he can get through Sinner. I'm interested to see how it plays out. Now, we're going to be watching every single match of... Uh, of the uh, Djokovic uh, matches. Every match of Djokovic. Starting with tomorrow, because he's playing in about 12 hours time. So uh, I'm going to wake up 3 o'clock in the morning. We're going to watch him straight up. Have to watch him. We're going to be watching every Nole match. We're going to be watching every Rafa match this week. And then we're going to be watching a fair bit of um, Medi as well, because of the number one ranking that's up for grabs. 